Welcome back Doom fans to more relearning Doom map editing with the GC Doom Builder. The link to the program is in the description below. In the last video we covered a few miscellaneous subjects such as breaking mirrors, sparks and fog. In this video we shall make some monster ambush scenarios and also take a stab at creating an arena invasion type map at the requests fellow youtuber Sai Jim. Hopefully I did his name right. This is nothing like what I have created before since I like making more standard Doom maps but I will make a go of it nonetheless. I hope it will meet with approval. So with no further ado let's get started shall we? Right just to confirm I am playing on um, card mode just so that I will not die during this presentation it is plenty easy to go through this without playing card mode but it would be uh, bad if I should die in the middle of my presentation yeah so um, you think so? uh, we will have uh, a door ambush, a teleporter ambush, and our, our um, survival map in just a bit. We will we'll start with the door ambush, which will trigger when I walk over a line here. There we go. <laughs> Works fine though. I'm sure it's tweaked by the um, Brutal Doom mod as well. Yeah, um, we have. Uh, well, it's a simple ambush. That was the first thing Doom did, I think. They I do think that it teleport ambushes there as well. Um, this is the most simple one. It's a simple door trigger. And this this time it was for a walk over line. We will look at that later. Um, but you can make it trigger for anything really. Uh, just a quick note. Uh, this is, well, I wouldn't say advanced tutorial, but uh, it assumes you know at least the basics of of um, the GC Doom Maker. So I will not describe anything in detail, as it were. Hmm. Oh, there's a there's a locked door here. Well, we know what happens when we take that, will not we? Hello. <laughs> the setup is pretty much identical to the one set up by Jumper uh, because I stole it from there. So <laughs> there will be. Um, a description in oh, there will be a link in the description below rather uh, this too got triggered by me picking up the um, key in uh, almost in an Indiana Jones kind of style so we have that ambush now let's take teleporter to our main event. Yeah. Uh, since I am in god mode, there's really no point in picking up uh, that, but uh, well, it's here, so simple line. Death trigger, and here we go. Smaller. I will need to 
still old. Larger room, more enemies, some stronger enemies. All of this you can choose yourself. So this is just an example, but You can do that if you want to create something like this. Uh, this is not an example of good map making, it's an example of a survival map. So we enter our final. We end the map. Uh, I, I, I could have ended the map directly out using him to trigger the end, but let's just let's just open the door here. For the final switch. Now let's go to the map. And I shall show you how I did it. I'll be right back. Right. So here we have our map. Um, fairly simple one. With uh, our areas of increasing difficulty. At least I hope it is. Um, but we started here. A simple corridor start. We have our um, trigger, which simply triggers the door open with the, the sector tag of 30, which is those. Or, or those yeah it also triggered a second thing which is light tag so that the light from these areas rather this area I assume well, at least which are lighter it will will um, get the same light brightness brother which is 136 here and 192 there so it will it will look like the light shines through from there. Um, door opens, enemies come out. We have some health if those would would t t make make you take damage. That's about it. <laughs> Most simple ambush uh, option there is, I think. In the next room like I said, it's a pretty much a copy of a setup by Chub Doomer. He's also doing some um, interesting um, scripting tutorials, so you might want to check 
that out if you want to learn. I am trying to when I have the time. Um, for now I have uh, my usual copy and paste and try to understand approach. Uh, but we will get that, get to that right now in fact because our first script involves making this activate um, the four um, map spots we have placed around here they have a tag of 20 in my case you can use whatever tag number you want but remember remember it we make this uh, be well it's a key obviously but we also make it activate a script script one when we pick it up well, it's a fairly simple one uh, let's see script one void thing spawn facing it will face it will be facing where the um, map spot is facing so towards the center of the room where we pick up the stuff so the enemies will attack right away and a simple delay so that it doesn't happen right away and crash the game essentially uh it's the tag number we saw that already uh, number four is normal uh, is the tag id of the normal zombie guy the one is for um if you want to have the spawn uh, swoosh sound and uh, green light effect zero if you do I think you can say put false if you want them to arrive silently I did a short explanation of that in a previous video you can check that out if you want and not sure what happened here I think I might have hit Yes, when I was describing the previous one, this is simply a new tag ID for the enemy spawning. If you want them to have a tag ID so that they can be referenced by another script somewhere. If you don't, just let it be zero. And we have the end of script that's our first script and the only one uh, it's uh, everything is fairly simple I, I don't do advanced you know that uh, I'm not that good uh, again a simple um, ambush scenario using scripts and triggers and the enemies can be um, whatever you want uh, go to there's a list of all the numbers on the zdoom homepage i shall have um, a link to that as well i should have had one much sooner than this and i might rectify that I have to go back through all my videos and put those in the description uh, but from now on they will there will be a shortcut anyway uh, Teleporter we have gone through that Which moves us here we pick up our stuff trigger our second script which is a simple um, lowering of this so it's you can't hide behind it and it opens this uh, 
this has a tag number and so has this and the script simply tells us that door raise floor lower tag number speed we have gone through this that is not our main concern here the one that is our concern is when this opens all our enemies are here and some stuff if you get damaged every enemy in this area is having apart from being an enemy obviously they have a tag number of 50 What does, that, what does that mean? Well, tag numbers we know already, but in our script, which is a new one, I copied and found on the net, is um, a thing counter, in a sense. It's an open script. Thing counter, and we can put any specific enemy to count here. If it's none, it counts every item with that tag number of 50, which we have written here. When it's less, <laughs> when it's zero, then it will raise this. Well, I left some place to hide here but the corners will race to our next area as you saw and it's a simple um, rinse and repeat your job after that these enemies will have a tag of 51 which when all 51 of our script number four which is a repeat of that one will, apart from the tag numbers obviously, will open the next area, which after a brief pause we, we can regroup, open the door manually to our hallway with sergeants. Uh, maybe we can see them in the description there. So tag 52, all of these enemies are as well, which will open this wall to our final enemy, the boss, which we easily defeated because I cheated and put a BFG in there, opens this door and our exit. And it wasn't hard, what wasn't as hard as I thought, at least this simple setup that I chose. Uh, I am sure there are better and um, more advanced, but more flexible ways of doing it. But this is as far as I am comfortable with. Uh, doing this at the moment. If I get better, I might make an addendum, addendum video to this where I do a more advanced and um, more thorough attempt at doing this. So Sai Jim, I hope you are satisfied with this for now. I am learning all the time, so I'm sure I can do a better job in the future. This was the lazy gamer logging off. Have a nice day.